I'm a pen and paper guy. And, it, you know, I went to art school for painting and they don't, you know, I didn't think this is, like, these didn't to me seem like things I would show. You know, like when I started doing them, I just, that's just something I, I don't know. I just yeah. started drawing that scale, but I never showed them as art. Like I never framed them and put them in art shows until way later. Cause I always thought like, oh, that's, that's not art. You know, like that's the basis for making a screen print or making it into a painting or doing something with it. I thought you had to like paint it to make it art. But actually like all these years later, when I reflect on everything I do, be it like a sculpture or a painting or an installation or whatever, these are my absolute favorite thing. Like. I like the immediacy of it. I like that I can sit down and in one night I can start to finish one. And that's really satisfying. When Adobe had come around and said, you know, uh, if presented with an opportunity to do a project with us, what would you imagine that project might be? And this is in the same week where I'm going through these thousands of drawings and sitting here literally in this room full of stacks of these things. And I, in a completely separate idea from years and years ago, I'd always imagined a really cool idea for a mural that instead of like painting this one thing that sits there as a stagnant image, the idea that if you had an, a location where everything lined up where you could have a projector and have it aimed at the wall, that the mural would be a projected image that moved, either an animation or a slideshow or something so that the guy coming and going every day never looked up and saw the same thing twice. And that's just something that in the back of my mind always existed as if I had a shitload of money and did whatever I wanted, I'd hook up projectors on rooftops all over town and just have these like sort of slideshow murals that never stayed stagnant. And so when they were like, hey, what would you do if you could play with Adobe and we could set everything up for you? It just seemed like perfect timing to take these hundred drawings that I'm gonna show in the gallery, uh, make some sort of animated loop of them mm -hmm. and project that as a mural. I am a really low tech artist comparatively with a lot of people on the planet these days and I, um, I went to art school in the late 90s. I didn't take a lot of graphic design courses, and it, as well as it's definitely tools that I've learned to use as I've moved around in my career, it isn't a priority for me to use right. the computer. And as a matter of fact, um, I use it as minimally as possible. And the programs that Adobe makes enable me to use it as little as possible. I mean, I use Photoshop to get these into the computer. I use a very old program that Adobe made called Streamline. And I actually embarrassingly keep an old machine with an old operating system and a giant antique animation scanner so I can scan drawings full size. And then I use Streamline to convert them. And then I bring them into my you know, regular uh, computer and use them to alter them or send designs or whatever. But with the help of a friend and neighbor of mine who's much more uh, versed in Adobe products, we're going to use After Effects in conjunction with Illustrator and Photoshop to kind of create this seamless animation with all the hundred drawings all kind of operating with each other. 360 on the sea, the winter tucks. Call my homie, tell him meet me down at Lido Beach for lunch. Placido Polanco crib, his bitch was black. She started purring, I kissed the cat. Aristocrat, wrist dancing like a disco bash. In the host, the same shit color as Cisco's hair. 635 slam like a suplex. Cheat off a Chinese kid just like a school test.